In this problem, we have a hypothetical statistics textbook manuscript and are told that the number of typos per page has a Poisson distribution with a mean of 8 per page. And we're then asked a series of questions about uh, various probabilities related to this scenario. So the first is, uh, what's the probability that their a randomly selected page has 6 typos? So we're going to let x here just denote the number of typos uh, on a randomly selected page. And uh, mu is the mean of x, which is 8 per page. All right, so the probability that x equals 6 uh, can be calculated using the formula for the Poisson distribution, but here we'll just go ahead and let Excel do the work for us. Um, so here is what we get. Let's see, under our function browser again, in the statistical menu, we scroll down to Poisson. Here, pull this up. We have to give it three pieces of information. Uh, the number of occurrences of the thing we're looking for. So in this case, it's typos. Uh, so for the first part here, it's 6. The mean number of typos is 8. And it has a cumulative feature, just like the binome dist function does. Uh, and in this case, we want that to be false, actually. We're interested in exactly 6 typos. We hit OK. And we're told that the uh, probability is about 0.1221. So roughly 12% chance of having exactly six typos on a randomly selected page of this manuscript. All right, what about number two? Well, that asks essentially, what's the probability that uh, x is greater than or equal to nine, right? That we have at least nine typos on a given page. Now, the cumulative feature of the Poisson function will handle a situation almost like this. But first, we have to flip the probability around so that it's x less than or equal to some value. And let's see here. Well, that's not too hard. We do have to be a little bit careful because this is a discrete distribution. So this is really the same as 1 minus the probability that x is less than 9, right? Either x is going to be greater than or equal to 9, or x is strictly less than 9. Now, this isn't quite right either because we really want the less than or equal style of inequality in order to use the Poisson function. But that's easy enough to change because we can just say that's really the same as 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 8. If x is less than 9, it has no choice but to be less than or equal to 8. Now this is exactly the form of the Poisson function, the Poisson dist function, distribution function. So let's go ahead and uh, do the calculation. In fact, we'll even throw in the 1 minus in Excel. Let that do the work for us as well. OK. So let's see. Instead of even using the function key, let's just go ahead and we'll type this in. 1 minus, and then it's Poisson. And we first tell it the number of successes. So remember, our cutoff here is 8. And the mean also happens to be 8. And this time, we want true. OK, so now, whoops. <laughs> there we go. Get the print going the right direction there. So this Poisson 8, 8, true will tell us the probability that we have 8 or fewer observed uh, typos, in this case, on a, a randomly selected page. And then we just want 1 minus that. All right, we should be ready to go. So just hit Enter. 0.4075. Okay, finally the last part changes things up slightly. It asks for the number of to the total number of typos on three selected pages. So we're going to just let y be a new random variable to be the number of typos per three pages. Now, if we take our old random variable that has a Poisson distribution and just multiply it times a constant, which is in effect what we're doing. It's still going to have a Poisson distribution, and the mean just goes up by that factor of that constant. So it's now 8 times 3. It's 24 typos per pages, really, I should say here. I guess 3 pages, just to be a little more specific. And now the question is, what's the probability that y is greater than or equal to 20? So we'll have to do something similar to up above, where we're going to say this is really the same as 1 minus the probability that y is less than 20. And that's really 1 minus the probability that y is less than or equal to 19. So the same reasoning is up above. Here we're just taking the complement. And then going from here to here, this is just in recognition that y is discrete. And if it's less than 20, it's got to be less than or equal to 19. But now this is exactly set up for our Poisson function in Excel. So we can go ahead and do the calculation. So remember now, the, uh, the, the number of observed typos is going to be 19. The mean now will be 24. So we do the same kind of thing as before. It's 1 minus Poisson. 
that we have 19 typos as our cutoff. The mean is 24. Again, we want true. So we have all the ingredients we need there. Hit enter 0 0.8197. 